Well, it's early morning here at the pond, probably uh, about quarter of six in the morning, Foster, Rhode Island. The sun hasn't come up yet, as you can see. It comes up from that side. That's east. Okay, and I'm on the, my small pond, which is probably half an acre. Uh, as you can see, I've got three uh, inch and three-quarter black plastic pipes coming in and feeding... Uh, a water wheel that I made with bicycle wheels and uh, PVC end caps. And you can see for a generator, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Oh yeah, there's my uh, monitoring light to show that it's generating. Okay, but hopefully you'll see that there's a ceiling fan PMA on there that I made uh, after watching Muddy Man's videos. Uh, has two wheels driving. Okay, again with the PVC end caps, and it's going along pretty well right now. I did a multimeter on it when uh, when it was light out yesterday, and uh, under no, on, with no load, which that's how it's running right now. Uh, it's generating about uh, close to 50 volts. Okay, and I want to demonstrate that. This will give lighting for a small cabin um, and uh, practical lighting that could be used all the time. So here's the test. Okay, I have one, two, three, four um, LED lights, 60 watt equivalent, which will draw about 10 and a half uh, watts each. And I want to see how many of those this will practically light. So we're going to start out with the top one. Okay, here's the top one. There we go. Okay, so right away we hear the wheels slow down. But, not bad. And that's giving full brightness. Okay, so now we'll go to the second light. Okay. Again, a little slow down, but that's two lights, so that's the equivalent of two 60-watt light bulbs. Okay, here's the third one. Ah. All right, again, a little bit of a slowdown, so that's three 60-watt light bulbs. Okay, they are a little dimmer, okay, so we're not getting the full uh, brightness from all three, but we are getting... That's, potentially three rooms of light. And here's a fourth. Okay, again, not an appreciable difference in the light. Okay, and as an added bonus, I have another one here that, uh, another 60 watt light bulb that is hooked up to the second set of wires coming out of the PMA. And there we go. So, stepping back, all right, we have one, two, three, four, uh, 60 watt equivalent LED bulbs, all going at the same time. The PMA is still going. You can hear that it's going at a lower, uh, lower rate of speed, which means it's working really hard. And um, so all I'd have to do is get this power from here up to the house and distribute it evenly through one, two, three, four, five rooms, and that's five rooms worth of uh, light. Now let's just say um, room number one, or let's call it room number five. All right, room number five is the one I use the least. So I don't need that. So I'll go, I'll turn the light bulb off in that room. Okay, so that means my other rooms, my other four rooms, have a little bit brighter light. Okay, now let's say I don't need the power in that room. Okay, so turn that off. All right, so now I've got three rooms with bright lights. Okay, that looks to me like that's the equivalent of a 60-watt light bulb. Okay, now let's just say, oh, I don't need that either. So it's daytime, and uh, I only have couple rooms I want to keep lit in the daytime. Alright, 
just to keep them bright and homey. And since the power is free, I'll just leave two lights on during the day. So now I've got two very nice bright light bulbs. Maybe one in the kitchen, maybe one in the hallway, wherever you needed it. All right, and oh, let's see what happens if I take the light. I only need one on. Oh, nice and bright. Okay, super bright. All right, so here's the other thing I can do. I can turn them all off and plug it into a small battery charger, say uh, a battery pack from Harbor Freight, and all day long it can be charging that battery pack up. It can be charging up my cell phones and, and all the other things that I want. Plus it'll give me some uh, reliable 110 if I need it. Uh, not a large amount, but enough to probably to run a vacuum. So I'm going to do that experiment next. So the only thing that can go wrong on this, the way it's set up, and I've been running it for quite some time, is the electric, uh, elastic bands that are driving the, uh, driving the PMA. Okay, I've had them wear out, so they, they're good for a couple of weeks. And uh, then you replace it, so it's no big deal. Um, the PMA itself, the only thing that's going to go on there would be the, um, the bearings, as far as I know. Uh, you can see that I've tried to protect it from the rain so it doesn't get wet inside, so corrosion shouldn't be a major problem. If it is, I could even tighten it up better than that. So, conceivably, I have enough power here to light um, a whole cabin or a small house and give some standby 110 power. Uh, from the battery pack. So I'm going to continue to work on this. I want to see how I can get the same power all the way up to the house. Uh, see how much I lose. The house is quite a long way. Uh, oh, there's my wife walking down with the dog. Um, and I want to see if I can uh, get this to the house and, and do what I've been saying. So there we go. Ceiling fan PMA micro hydro power setup.